Hey guys, it's Captain Ball Arms. Today I'm basically getting a, a double DNA bomb on instinct. I'm super excited to bring this gameplay to you. Let me get in my class setup in case you guys want to use it. I love this class. Um, I use these perks, attachments on pretty much every assault rifle in the game. The only thing I change up is like the HBR. I'll use foregrip instead of, I believe, I don't actually know what I use instead of it or whatever. But I generally try and use foregrip, I think, on the HBR. Um, I'm not sure though, I may have changed that by now. Who knows? Basically, my uh, class setup is the AK-12G, silencer, extended mags, and stock, and then I'm using the perk 1 as low profile, perk 2 as peripherals, perk 3 is blast suppressor and scavenger. And then I've got the UAV with uh, threat detection, uh, extra time, and extra assist points, and then the, what is it called, system hack. And I think I just had extra assist points at the moment, but now I'm running the system hack with extra assist points, disable enemy kill streaks, and disable enemy exosuits, and that is awesome because it locks them to the ground. And then if you don't use blind eye like me, you could save that, and if they're getting kill streaks, you could just stop them in their tracks right there. Um, if there's sentry guns out on the map, like I've been killed a couple off, or actually one off in a final kill cam by a sentry gun, um, and that was frustrating, but. That would have saved me had I ran it. Um, I always used to just run extra assist points, like the first, what, two weeks of the game, first week. And that's simply because in every new Call of Duty, you always struggle to get the new streaks the first week or two until you learn how to play the maps really well. And now I'm able to get about an 850 point UAV. Um, I tried to get a 1000 point UAV. I got it a couple of times, but I wasn't feeling it. It wasn't feeling right like the 850 point UAV was. I was trying to uh, add on my UAV instead of the extra assist points, make the uh, radar um, like, uh, I forget what it's called, but it basically makes it like an advanced UAV where it shows the arrows or orbital V set, where it shows them having arrows and what direction they were looking at. But I decided I didn't like that. So, enough on that topic. Let me talk a little bit about um, this gameplay. And. I actually have got a 25, or a DNA bomb and a 25 on this map, and I knew that this would be the map that I got my first double. In the end of this gameplay, the last second, or in the last seconds of this gameplay, I get three kills and manage to pick up this double DNA bomb, and I was so excited, like I should have had the reaction to it because it's insane, and basically, I do... Because it doesn't even pop up on the screen when I get it. I just saw it in the little, the right, where the score streaks are, the DNA bomb. And I actually uh, zoom in, crop that in um, to the video in the last couple of seconds, just so you see, since it doesn't pop up. And in case you are blind, um, well, if you're blind, I can't help you out there, but you should be able to see that I did get another DNA bomb. And I thought I'd talk a little bit about all the people that have DNA bombs, or double DNA bombs at the moment. I think a lot of people have singles, but doubles, I think they're like, I'm the fifth person to get a DNA bomb. DNA bomb, wow. Double DNA bomb. Sorry about that. I can't talk today. Um, I think I'm the fifth person to get a double DNA bomb at the moment, uh, or I was probably because I got this on like Friday, and I was trying to get it up yesterday, but I was really busy. It just didn't happen. Now... There is uh, two from Doom, there are one in OP, I believe, and one in Tapex, and then there's me in Volt that has one. And I have 31 DNA bombs right now as we speak, so I have plenty of gameplays to post and do commentaries over, but besides that, I thought I'd talk about what, what do you guys want to see? Like, should I do a series where I get DNA bombs with every gun in the game that's decent? Like, I don't want to go for a DNA bomb with a bulldog and just start hating this game because I really do enjoy this game and I uh, I think I'll be playing it for a long time like I may even play it for a whole year I don't know that's that's what I hope probably but who knows Call of Duty generally gets boring around six months or under um, when you grind it like I do so I can't really uh, tell you how long I'll be playing it but do you want to see the, the uh, the DNA bomb with all the decent guns. Do you guys want to see like rushing routes? Do you want to see spawns? Do you want to see uh, how to get a DNA bomb videos? I don't, I don't know. Um, live commentaries, live DNA bombs. I do live stream as you guys know, but I could just easily do a live com or something like that. You guys just let me know 
this uh, gameplay is basically coming to an end. I get the last three kills right here. And make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe if you did enjoy the video. I will talk to you guys tomorrow, and have a nice day.